What is up, guys? It's your boy Wavy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a comprehensive best controller settings guide for um, uh, X Defiant. And just show, show you guys you can trust me. Um, I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time. And then here's my stats. They're not the best, um, but they are still pretty good. I don't know why my skill rating is so low. I have, you know, really good score per minute. My win loss is all right. Kill death is good. I think it's just because my win loss isn't the best. My high school game 2 is also, um, what is it? Um, 90 kills. So I'm actually, you know, like I said, like, I do have the proof just to show you guys. I do know what I'm talking about. I may have, here's a 90 kill game right here. 90 and 42. But anyway, so I'll show you guys the best settings. So one is I always recommend use a wired LAN cable when you play. Um, it improves the latency on the game. And you guys can do this, guys, by going to settings, um, accessories, um, controller, and then use USB cable right there. Very important. And you guys want to click R3 to go to the settings. Field of view, you can increase it, whatever. I just came out on 100. I've been liking it. Consistent, you want to do. Instant, make sure you have that on. Um, tap for sprint. Auto sprints on. So you have to just hold the left stick forward to sprint. It's much easier. Um, I have all, so I just like to sprint a lot. But you could turn that on, maybe. Um, then I have just these. None of these are really that important. HUD, I reckon make your HUD as small as possible so you don't have to look at the corners to see stuff. Like the mini map and everything, uh, damage numbers and all that on ping display on, and then you guys can then go to controller. I play default flip, so press triangle right here. So I shoot with the bumpers, it's much easier to aim and stuff and hold the controller like that. So I recommend that. Or in use any button layout where you have to, um, where you don't have to take your hand off the controller, guys, to jump and slide. I have paddles, so I can use default, but you may need to use one of these other ones, or you guys can just use custom button assignments to do this. Like maybe maybe you can jump with the trigger and slide with the R3 stick. And you can do this, guys, by going to accessibility and then going to controllers and then custom button assignments right there. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Um, so that's another big one. Uh, I'll just keep talking because I remember as far as sensitivity, I use 30 30. Um, I know like Scump and other people use like some people use like 60 60. The main thing though is you're going to see my ADS sensitivity is 0.90. I think Scump uses 60, 60, 80, so you guys can try that. The main thing is 0.80 where the ADS is when you zoom in with your gun, it's going to be slower than your normal sensitivity. So basically, it's kind of similar to what I'm using. I'm using 0.90, so it's a little faster, but I'm also using 30, 30, or they're using 60, 60, 80. So you guys can try both of those. And another one, guys, is your aim response curve. I like using the reverse S curve. This is basically like the dynamic um, curve from Call of Duty, so I recommend that. Um, some people use to standard or linear, you can try those, but I just like the reverse S curve, it's better for movement, it will it will say. Uh, standard is better for aiming faster, so you could try that maybe um, as well. Um, scroll all the way down, guys, you wanna make sure you have vibration off on your controller. Um, that's an important setting, guys, so your controller's you know, not vibrating while you're shooting. Um, you can just be way more accurate, um, and sorry about that, I do apologize for clicking that. So here's some of the settings like I was just talking about, 0.90. Left stick, dead zone, try to have it as small as possible without having sick drift. I have like 5.5, five, vibration off, audio, doesn't really matter. Um, video, doesn't matter too. Make sure you have 120 refresh on. And then, yeah, everything else is kind of basic and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, um, and I'm out. Peace.